Hi there, it's Olga. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can combine a few products from my latest elegant bathroom collection to build up a scene. I'm going to start by creating a card base. Mine is made out of white cardstock and it measures five and a quarter by seven and a quarter inches. I have also made a frame that is five by seven. Then I'm going to use the papers from the collection. I'm browsing through them and I have chosen this one uh, with the tile pattern to create my background. The papers are A5 size, so I trimmed it down to 5 by 7 inches. Now I'm applying some liquid adhesive and I'm sticking down my background onto the card base. Next, I'm going to take out all three die sets from the collection. They include various elements uh, like bathroom and vanity and uh, all the images are the same size, so they all work together perfectly. I really wanted to use that bathroom curtain, so I've die cut it out of vellum and the die also creates some embossing. I will be attaching the curtain onto the frame and the frame itself is 5 by 7 and it is from the diorama die set from the previous releases. You can also create a 5 by 7 frame using your paper trimmer. So this is how I'm attaching a curtain. I'm flipping the frame over and then I'm applying a thin line of glue along the top of the curtain as well as along the side. And then I'm uh, sticking it down into the corner. The vellum is less porous than paper, so it takes a bit longer for the glue to dry. And this is why I'm also using some strips of uh, washi tape to hold it down in place. Next, I have applied some foam squares all around the perimeter of my frame at the wrong side. And now I'm sticking it down onto the card base. What I have now is an empty bathroom that I will fill in using some other elements from the die sets. The first element I'm going to add is this cornice or lambrequin. Uh, this one works perfectly with the curtain. I've die cut it out of a gold mirror cardstock and then I backed it up with a couple of layers of white cardstock. And this way I have a dimensional piece much like a chipboard. I'm going to stick it down onto the frame using the liquid glue, just like this. The next element is a bathtub. This one has a lot of detail, both embossing and debossing ones, and uh, this decoration in the center can be used for embossing, but I am going to stencil it. I'm simply putting uh, the die cut back into the die, and then I'm applying some distress ink with a sponge dauber right through the holes. Then I'm using the same ink and the same sponge dauber to go all over the edges of the bathtub. This way I can also add some shading. These two small die cuts, uh, also the part of the bathroom collection, are the legs of the bathroom. I've die cut them out of gold mirror cardstock. Now I'm applying some glue and simply sticking them down onto the white legs that are the part of the die cut. And now I'm also going to create a foam for the bathroom. So I'm going to use one of the stamps from the set. It has a lot of sentiments plus some images. And this one at the bottom is the foam outline. I'm going to stamp this image onto a scrap piece of uh, vellum using some embossing ink. And then I'm going to apply the white embossing powder and heat set it. As you see, it is super easy to come up with the ideas using this collection. You simply have to mix and match the elements, play around with them, and you will end up with lots of card designs. Once the powder is heat set, I'm going to use the scissors and cut out this image. Vellum is great for fussy cutting since it's much thinner than the cardstock and uh, you will end up with a very neat edge. 
When I was just about to attach the foam image, I thought that an actual person would look great laying in the bath. So I decided to use this ballerina it is from my previous Nutcracker release. I will just have to trim down this image a little bit, so I'm using the scissors and uh, I'm cutting off that skirt outline. By the way, all people images from that set are perfect scale for using with the bathroom dies. So now I'm placing the die cut right behind the bathroom, I'm trimming off uh, the extra, and then I'm just sticking it down using the liquid glue. Then I'm uh, reapplying some glue at the wrong side of uh, the bathtub, and I'm sticking it down over the bubble cutout. And again I'm going to trim off uh, everything that is uh, sticking out of the outlines. Next I have applied some foam squares, just like I did with the frame, and I'm going to attach this image onto the background. I'm tucking the bathtub behind uh, the frame just a little bit, and this way the bottom of the frame will work as a floor. And now when the main large images are in place, I'm going to add some smaller details to decorate the bathroom. After browsing through the dies, I decided to use that flower stand together with the vase and uh, that rose. The rose is die cut out of uh, green paper and white cardstock. I've trimmed off the flower from the green die cut and I'm only going to use uh, the stem. And then I will be attaching the flower behind the vase. The flower stand is also die cut with a gold mirror cardstock and is backed up with a couple of white die cuts. And now I'm just applying a tiny bit of glue at the bottom of the vase and I'm attaching it onto the stand. Then the entire thing goes into the corner of the card. I'm attaching it uh, onto the frame. Now it's time to add the sentiment and this is really a fun part because I am going to use the embossing folder to create it. This folder is uh, full of different sentiments and it can be used as a background, but it's really fun to make um, the labels with it. Here I've used the small rectangle die, this one is from my stash, the smallest one from the nested set, and I'm going to place it behind the sentiment. I'm simply opening up the folder and I'm applying it at the back, and this way I can see through and uh, I can say where exactly this sentiment is going to be positioned. And then I'm going to use a couple of pieces of washi tape to tape down uh, this label. This way it's, it's not going to shift while I'm sending it through the machine. Once I've sent uh, the folder through the die cutting machine, I'm going to remove the tape and this is what the finished label looks like. It's just like real metal. Then I'm attaching uh, the metal plate onto the background, again using the foam squares. At this point I decided that I would like my focal image to stand out a bit more, so I'm carefully detaching uh, the foam squares and I'm going to apply some ink with a sponge dauber just around the image in this area. I'm going with circular motions trying to create the very soft edge. Then I'm going to attach the bathtub back onto my card. The foam squares have probably lost some of their stickiness because I'm using them for the second time, so I have applied a little bit of liquid glue onto each one of them, and now I can stick down the image onto the patterned paper. The scene is finished now and all I have to do is to add some finishing touches. I have decided to go with half pearls. I will be attaching them uh, all over my card. Some of them will go onto the bathtub, some of them will go to the cornice and onto the curtain, and of course to the metal label. 
this is what the finished card looks like. Here you can see I have added a necklace to the lady as well, but in real life, please never put on the pearls when you are taking a foam bath. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, I hope I demonstrated how simple it is to use this collection. So just take out your dice, mix and match the elements, go with the flow and you will end up with lots of interesting ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you back soon.